So we are working in Newport Beach today, replacing two split systems with heat pump units. And I wanted to show you what heat pump system is and how does it look like when we replace regular gas furnace and air conditioner with the heat pump uh, system. So this house has two separate systems, completely two separate split systems, one for upstairs and one for downstairs. Each system has three main components. One is condensing unit outside and two more components inside the house in the attic, which is furnace and evaporative coil. So uh, here you can see that we've already swapped one condensing unit. You know, this was their old system. This is their new heat pump unit. This is inverter model. And the efficiency of this unit is 17 to 18 sear. Actually, in five tons, I believe it comes up, comes down to 17 sear. Uh, very quiet, whisper quiet unit. Uh, noise level is below 60 decibels. So, again, what heat pump unit is, most customers think that heat pump is actually some kind of separate system, some kind of separate unit. No, what is heat pump? It's air conditioning unit that can work both ways. It can transfer heat out of the house to cool it down and it also can transfer heat into your house to warm up your house. So we don't need to do any crazy modifications to existing system setup. You see we just changed straight cool condensing unit with heat pump condensing unit. This is also air conditioner but this air conditioner can run both ways. It, it can transfer heat out and it can transfer heat in. So here we replace replacing complete system. So this is only the outside part. So again, to get a heat pump unit, you just change your AC unit with another heat pump AC unit. So here you can see new condenser. So this is the new heat pump inverter condenser. We buy so many of these units. We're allowed to private label them with our own company branding. Uh, this is the unit it's the same unit for three and a half, four and five tons. There is a dip switch inside and we choose uh, what size it's gonna, as what size it's gonna work. Uh, you can see label on it says efficiency from 17 to 18 sear, uh, depending on the size. I mean, if you run it as a five ton unit or if you run it as a four ton unit. Uh, whisper quiet, le below less than 60 decibels. Uh, these units are pretty tall and skinny, so it's a good idea to strap them to the house. That's what we're going to do. It's not strapped in yet. Let me show you what's inside the house. Let me show you new inside components as well. Another two components of the system is gas furnace and evaporative coil. And we will re be replacing existing gas furnace with another gas furnace because we simply cannot get our hands on air handlers this summer 2022 uh, and uh, you know we'll just change gas furnace with another gas furnace we'll only use it in air handler mode we're not going to connect gas line we're not going to connect uh, flue pipe and as far as the evaporative coil we'll replace existing duckboard evaporative coil with same type duckboard evaporative coil just the ones that will have heat pump txv in it installed because you know we need to make sure that refrigerant can go both ways uh, inside the new system let me show you how it's set up in the attic this particular system the issue we had was refrigerant leak and you can see that it was leaking from evaporative coil you can see a bunch of oil residue inside the pan so that's where it was leaking usually they leak somewhere here in the bottom so this is the new furnace with ECM blower motor high efficiency blower motor it's a five speed blower motor this furnace is made by Allied a Lennox international company and we will use this furnace as a two stage air handler it will supply 70 percent of airflow in first stage and 100% airflow in high stage. This is how setup looks in the attic. 
Uh, you can see this is the new furnace. This is new evaporative coil. And again, you can see that this furnace is not connected to the gas line and it's not connected to the vent pipe because we are using it in air handler mode. It's only supplying airflow for our heat pump system. Uh, you know, we strap the evaporative coil, you know, there is secondary drain pan under the coil to prevent from any water leaks. There's secondary drain line that goes above the window. So this is the setup and you can see we didn't have to do any unnecessary modifications to replace existing gas furnace and air conditioner with the heat pump unit because technically these are the same units we just swapped one unit with another so we changed furnace with another furnace we changed the evaporative coil with another evaporative coil and we've changed outer unit condenser with new with new heat pump condenser so uh, if you choose proper equipment you don't have to run unnecessary 220 line to the new air handler uh, or, you know, do any crazy modifications to install heat pump in your house. It's pretty easy retrofit job to replace your gas furnace and air conditioner with a heat pump. So two condensers installed. These are two heat pump condensers and right now we're testing them in heat mode. Heat mode means that they do transfer heat in which means that we actually run an AC air conditioning for the street right now. So instead of blowing hot air, these units do blow out cold air. So you can see that it, it is outside is around 112 degrees and we have 66 degrees cold air coming out of this unit. So they actually get heat from the outside air and putting this heat into the house. Same way this unit as well, running in, running in heat mode. So we have 62 degrees air coming out. And outside it's around actually 95. So that's how heat pump works. It just takes heat from outside air and if, even if it's 40 degrees outside, it's still able to draw heat into the house. Also, I wanted to add that these are variable speed units, uh, smart units. They can sense the temperature of refrigerant coming back and depending on, it, on the temperature, adjust its output. So pretty much it can sense the heat load on an evaporative coil inside the house. and these units, even if they market it as variable, uh, they will work. Uh, they could work as one stage or two stage units, depending on how you wire the fan inside the house. So if your fan inside your house only runs in one speed, uh, this unit kind of becomes one stage unit because the fan inside is always one speed. It will vary a little bit, maybe within 10, 15 percent, <clears throat> depending on the heat load on the coil, but still. Uh, the huge factor is how many fan speeds is your indoor unit running inside your house. So we're actually using the furnace with 5-speed blower motor and we'll use this 5-speed blower motor in two stages. So it will have a low speed fan and it will have a high speed fan. So And this machine will adapt because it's a smart machine. So technically we're getting a true two-stage operation. So we're going to have we can set it up, you know, first stage is 50%, 70%, and second stage is 100%. We always set up first stage as 70% because uh, in this case, you know, most of the time uh, your system will spend in first stage mode without going into high stage mode, uh, you know, unnecessary. So it's much better to set up machine with 70% capacity in low speed and 100% capacity in a high speed. We've just put in second unit, did not connect it yet, did not strap it to the house yet, just put it in the plastic pad. Little tip for you who install these kind of units, you can get, you see this copper adapter lines, it's already flanged on one side and it's flexible line, it's very easy to use in these units. It saves you at least one hour maybe 
because you don't have to fabricate your own 